2015 has easily been one of the best years in my life, period. It's been crazy. We've done so much in this year. I mean, look at the channel. We're on 6k. We were at 1.5, I believe, at the start of the year. So that's gone mad. And then all the games and stuff that have come out. I mean, Need for Speed was announced this year. Who thought at the start of this year Need for Speed was going to be the way it was? And then the crew saw it as shit out. I mean, honestly, it's been one of the best years for racing games at the racing game community specifically forever. But outside of that, just generally for my life, again, it's been another amazing year. And next year is only looking to be more crazy. So let's go ahead and reflect on 2015. So it makes sense to start off with January. Now, to be honest, I don't remember a lot from January. I remember that, you know, Need for Speed No Limits was first came out, and that's basically about it. January seemed like a very, very, like, dry month, um, where we were kind of just waiting for stuff to happen, really. Uh, a lot of Horizon 2 stuff came out, um, and so I was kind of covering that, and a few indie games here and there. But honestly, January was kind of a bit dead, to be honest. Around this time, I was also going full force with the Need for Speed documentary, um, which obviously would release later in the summer. And I've got to say, the amount of time that took up was a bit of a joke. That took like a year to make, but I've got to say the end result was definitely worth it. Anyway, fast forward to March 14th and we hit 2,000 subscribers, which again, just like any other landmark, was a huge landmark. Never ever did I dream of getting 100 subscribers, so then 2,000 on top of that was just ridiculous to me. And obviously since then, we have gained many many more now as you guys know you can have as many subscribers as you want but views are really you know what drives a YouTube channel forward if you can if you have a million subscribers but you get 10 views per video then I wouldn't class you as a successful youtuber personally and I think at this point after I just hit 2k was kind of kind of when I hit um, rock bottom this year now although the video now stands at 200 views there was one initial the extreme stage video which got 10 views after 24 hours which for a channel with over 2,000 subscribers is not very good at all under anyone's standards I do think hitting this kind of rock bottom was really important though as it kind of taught me a lot of things like going through that grind I feel is the hardest part of YouTube um, and if you haven't been through a grind then you haven't been through the hardest part of YouTube yet that is where it really gets hard and you know kind of trying to power through that grind and still make videos even though it feels like not many people are there that was one of the things which really kind of really got me through that period of you know my YouTube channel it was really hard to be honest and I didn't expect for the channel to go that bad uh, but it did and obviously I had to cope with it and I'm not trying to get sympathy here oh, it's gone it's done now um, but I've got to say that was probably one of the hardest parts and it was definitely um, it was a lot one of the most interesting parts it made me reflect a lot on what I was doing with my content and kind of shape it up differently in a different format now luckily for me at that time the history of Need for Speed was really getting hyped up among the community I guess um, I wouldn't say it was that big but it was definitely getting hyped up among the people I knew at least and I uh, and I managed to drop a teaser trailer very very shortly afterwards which gave me some momentum and obviously propelled everything forward ever so slightly um, and I've got to say that teaser trailer will go down as one of my favorite videos I have ever uploaded on this channel Fast forward to May and Need for Speed was the thing that everyone was focusing on. It seemed like Ghost Games and EA were slowly starting to release more about their title, releasing screenshots, trailers, that kind of stuff, and everyone was getting hyped. I mean, I, I guess that kind of overall hype is still with me today. I go back on Need for Speed and still have that same buzzy feeling. And I've got to say, ever since then, they've only gave us more and more hype, and it's just got mad. Then shortly after, the E3 trailer dropped, and let's just say all all hell let loose. I lost my shit. I ain't gonna lie. I just straight up lost my shit. It was mad. Oh my god. 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 It's the new need for speed. It's Marcus. 
After E3 in June 29th of 2015, I then went to Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is basically a huge car festival here in the UK. Now, there isn't many good ones in the UK, to be honest. I'm just going to be straight up. Um, but this was definitely one of the better ones. And I've got to say... It was unreal. Some of the cars I saw there, I saw a Rocket Bunny RX-7, which happened to be Mad Mike's RX-7. I saw Ken Block. I saw all types of hypercars and supercars. And I've got to say, overall, it was one of the best experiences I've had this year. And most definitely a highlight, for sure. It was mad. Absolutely insane. And, um, yeah, I hope to include more of this kind of stuff in the future, as next year I'm looking to drive. Which we will talk about very, very shortly. After Goodwood, I was kind of full with the documentary. The documentary was supposed to launch on August the 7th and it did after multiple delays. Um, I was really focusing on that full force. I wanted to make sure it was good as it possi possibly could be. I'd finished it days in advance, I think seven days in advance before it was actually supposed to go up uh, to make sure I could do these checks and do all right. And I think it turned out very, very well. I released the final trailer, which went down really, really good. And then the documentary itself is sat on almost 30k views after four months, which for an original video is very, very good. You'll find with YouTube, unless it's news or something which is being hyped, hyped up amongst the community, like Need for Speed 2015's launch, it's really hard to kind of generate that amount of following in um, such a short amount of time. But somehow, you guys, awesome, don't know how you've done it, you've managed to push that video to 30k views. It did have a, a tweet on the Need for Speed's official Twitter. I, be I believe Ben Walk got that on there, which was insane. Um, and overall, it's just been doing amazing well and I'm still proud to say that it's possibly my favorite video I have ever made and definitely the one I put the most work into it was a years in the making and I've got to say it was amazing when it launched I remember being in a Skype call with um, the Drivecast crew and a few other people and you know just seeing the comments flood in and watching it with them in, and just to see the looks on their faces and it was just amazing that's something I'll never forget the launch of the Need for Speed documentary so without further ado, let's look at the history of Need for Speed. Less than a week after the documentary came out, we hit 3,000 subscribers, and then in September, we hit 3,500 subscribers, and since then, it's been just snowballing and snowballing and snowballing. We also went to EGX, which again was amazing. I got to meet Theo, uh, if you guys didn't already know. I, I, that was the first time I've met anyone online ever, and to think it was Theo, again, that was pretty huge, and I obviously got to play Need for Speed there, which uh, was, again, just amazing. Uh, I think that's just how I'd explain this shit. It was absolutely freaking amazing. I then made a few videos about Forza 6. Well, just one video. We're gonna see if it dies. So let's go drop it. Uh, I need to go get something to go and bury it with. Hold up. The powers of Microsoft. Rest in peace. After this, I was actually given the opportunity to go down into Guildford and go to EA and record some Need for Speed early and play some Need for Speed early. And again, another experience I will never forget. I got to meet Game Riot, I got to meet well, obviously Theo again, AR12, Tomcat, um, Team VVV, and m many, many other people, LPM. And again, just another mad experience. Did you say wise guy? How could I forget that? Um, it was a mad experience having to play Need for Speed early and be some, one of the first people in the world to play that game. <laughs> I just, it was just mad to think that they would have got me out of everyone. I got so fucking lucky. I ain't gonna lie. I got so lucky to go. Um, but I'm not going to complain. Again, it was an experience of a lifetime. Um, I met Ben Walk as well as um, Lee Williams. Those were the people that actually got me there. And I've got to say, again, it was just amazing. And after D for Speed's launch, as well as the crew, everything's kind of just been a blur. We hit 4,000 subscribers not too long ago, I believe it was. November 11th. And then we hit 5,000, and that was unreal, and that, was, that wasn't too long ago either. That was um, less than a month ago, I think. It was November 28th, 2015. And then, very, very recently, obviously, we hit 6K subscribers, which, again, just huge. <laughs> like, there's no other way I can really go around it. It's really just been a huge, huge snowball, and since then, everything has kind of just gone to another level. It's kind of like the stakes have just rose even higher, you know. I've been on the community news for the crew once, and that was very recently. I've just done a lot this year, and obviously I couldn't do it without you guys, as I say all the fucking time. It must get boring now. It's like a tape on repeat, um, but it's true. It wouldn't happen without you guys, and I've got to say, this year has been absolutely insane now i would just gotta thank you guys a huge thank you for 2015 here's to 2016 and hope it is as good if not better 
than 2015, which I'm sure it will be. Now, as we look into the next 365 days of 2016, what can you guys expect from the channel? Where well, I'm looking to do a lot more of in real life car videos. I'm going to start to learn how to drive soon, and I'm going to be buying my own car, which isn't going to be amazing because it's going to be my first car, but, you know, I'm going to be buying that and that kind of stuff. So expect a lot more of in real life videos, as well as some in real life showcases. Um, this is something you could expect. This is something that I kind of worked on. Very, very short. It wasn't anything big, but this is kind of a little clip of in real life showcases, which you can expect. Now, obviously, it won't be on the next five, um, but you can you can expect more stuff like that. Um, and just overall, just upping everything. The ante is going to be completely upped, and let's just hope that we can be on some mad subscriber count next year, as well as you know, you guys sticking with me and just going through the storm and just seeing what it's like you know the next year is going to be mad and I can't wait to see what it has in store again it's it's only getting but it's only getting bigger it's only getting better and to think that we could hit well we probably will hit 10k at some point in the next year is absolutely insane I mean 100k just to get that plaque thing would be sick I'd love to have a plaque with my own name on that'd be freaking awesome but honestly I'm just taking it as it goes taking it as it comes and just see how things go obviously we've got all the series gonna continue Drivecast is gonna continue as for as long as I can see uh, Neefs for 2015 is obviously gonna be on here as for as long as I can see and I just can't wait to see what the future holds but anyway guys I hope you had an amazing 2015 here's to 2016 I hope you guys you know just have an amazing 2016 doing whatever you guys uh, are, are doing whether that's YouTube or school or whatever cars <laughs> um, and you know this is it from me so last video from 2015 mad um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this year if you did hit the like subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace I need you for